What's up guys? So as you know, most of the exercises I recommend we do are compound exercises. We're going to be using multiple joints, multiple muscle groups, but there are some instances where I think it's fine to do isolation and one of those is actually for biceps. Um, let's face it, especially white belts, uh, going to be caught in situations where your bicep is going to be isolated in the form of an arm bar, right? You know, it sucks, but and when you're caught in an arm bar, the thing is, is you want to try and buy as much time as possible to help get your ass out of them. So I think it's okay to do some bicep isolation exercises. And also some compound exercises as well, like, like doing chin-ups. Um, that's, that's one that does both the back and the bicep. But just for isolation, uh, there is good. Well, I recommend that we do hammer curls as opposed to regular curls. And let me show you the difference. So a regular bicep curl, you have your palms facing up, right? Hammer curl, your palms are facing each other. Just like so. So first, uh, let me, let's talk a little bit about why this should be done. Okay, first, it keeps your wrist in a nice neutral position. When you start doing some heavy weight uh, with biceps, or after you're doing quite a few reps, what happens a lot of times, your wrists start dipping, okay? This is a lot of strain on the wrist joint. And I don't know about you, but in my school, we have a six foot four, 280 pound brown belt who loves doing wrist locks. My wrists are always sore because of him. So, no names, you guys from my school know who it is. My wrists are always sore, plus I sit at a desk all day and uh, with a keyboard, and my wrists are strained even though it's, not, it's pretty light work, but the repetitiveness of it is a lot of my wrists. So I don't wanna do much to damage my wrists, okay? And so if you do them like this, it keeps your wrist nice and neutral. It's very difficult actually for your wrist to start dipping down like this, okay? Because you're so strong. So nice neutral wrist like so the other thing is guys too is real important is this really helps develop the forearms and typically the stronger your forearms the better your grip is going to be as, as well um, so the other the important thing to remember when you're doing the hammer curls though you want to keep the tension on the forearm and the bicep okay so what I mean by what you're, what you're going to do to make sure that happens is make sure the weight never drops below your waist okay so down here like this, it's just, man, it's just gravity, right? It's not even, it's not working anything. It's not working my forearms, it's not working my biceps. But if it's up here at my waist and above, this is constant tension on my biceps and on my forearms, okay? And so just simply gonna curl up like so. My feet are shoulder width. I'm looking straight ahead. And see how high I'm going to. I'm not coming all the way up here throwing my elbows out. My elbows stay put. Constant tension. When you when your arms when you come up here like this, this also keeps the tension off the forearms and also break them. See, my wrist is not neutral any longer either. So keep it like so. Guys, that is it. Um, I also did another. There's another bicep exercise I recommend doing, and um, that is the. I will link that down below. So check that video out as well. So anyways, guys, plus two, I like doing biceps, right? You know, I live in Florida, I go to the beach, you know, it's like, well, we, a lot of us can go out and have fun, but I have the nice t-shirt muscles. So, hey, so this is, but this, the good thing is, this is also practical for BJJ. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. You made it this far. Hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Os.